Hey everyone, this is Ms. Dietrich helping you on Lesson 1.5, which is on using greatest common factor and distributive property to solve a problem as, like you see here. This is number 3 on Worksheet 1.5. It says, Brian is setting chairs in a row for a graduation ceremony. He has 50 black chairs and 60 white chairs. Each row will have the same number of chairs, and each row will have the same color chair. What is the greatest number of chairs he can fit in each row? How many rows of each color chair will there be? All right, so when you see a problem like this, it's good to just set it up, get your, uh, you know, your parentheses going and your operations going, and think about what numbers you're going to need. Now, it's also a good idea to think about how many chairs do we have all together here, because we've got 50 that are black and 60 that are white. So if we were to just add those two numbers just so we kind of have that number tucked away in the back of our head, that's probably a good idea. So hopefully you see we have 110 chairs total. All right, now what we need to find is we need to find the GCF of 50 and 10. And just to refresh your memory on how to do that, if we were to find the GCF of 50 and the other number again was 60, we know that uh, 10 goes into both because they end in 0. The other factor here would be a 5. The other factor here would be a 6. Now, it could keep branching, but I, I hope you can see that right away we have uh, this common factor of 10, even though it's not prime. But if we were to keep going, that they would share the same prime factors. So here we get a 2 and a 5. Here we also get a 2 and a 5. So when we start to look for matches, because this is the prime factorization for 50. This is the prime factorization for 60, even though it's not organized in order from least to greatest. So let's just look for our matches, shall we? We have matching twos, so I'm going to write that down over here. We have matching fives, so let's write that down over here. And that's it, that matches in both prime factorizations. So we're going to find the product, which is 10, and that's going to be the GCF of 50 and 60. So that's the number we're going to put right here. And if you're writing, if you're using distributed property using this layout, then you're going to put 10 in both sets of parentheses. But it's basically the same thing, and I'll show you why in just a moment. All right, so now here's what we have to think about. Because 50, recall, is the black chair number, right? So 10 times what is 50? And, of course, the answer is 5. And now let's think of the same thing for the white chairs. 10 times what is 60? And, of course, the answer there would be 6. So now let's think about what they're asking us here. They're asking us, what is the greatest number of chairs that he can fit in each row? So think about that. Is, that, is this the value that they're looking for there? How many rows of each color chair will there be? So is it going to be 6 rows of the white and 5 rows of the black? It sure will. So let's look at what you're going to put on the answer space. You're going to need 10 chairs to fit the first part of the question, 5 rows of black, and 6 rows of white chairs. All right, and we use the distributed property. Now, if we go back to this uh, method of writing it, we can put the 6 here and the 5 here, and it's kind of the same idea. And the reason why this is also another version of distributed property is because really what this means, this means 10 times 6, which is represented here, plus this means 10 times 5 which is represented here. So 10 would still represent the rows of chairs, 6 would still represent the white, and 5 would still represent the black. Now it's always a good idea to just follow order of our operations, because recall that we had 110 chairs when we uh, added up the numbers. We should probably make sure that it still adds up to be the same thing. If we do this plus this, we get 11, and 10 times 11 is still 110 chairs. So we have a match there confirming that we did it correctly. All right, so again, we use distributed property here to answer this question, MGCF.